And I'm afraid to say in the last few moments, the following statement has been released. It reads, uh, I will find that statement for you. The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. So let's take a moment to reflect on that news. So let me just now repeat that statement from the royal household which we have received in the last few minutes. It reads, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. And so the reign of Elizabeth II comes to a close after 70 years at the age of 96. Her son Charles is now king. For most of us, she has been the only monarch we have ever known. Her reign has been the longest and in the view of many, one of the most successful in British history. Since her coronation in 1953, the young woman who became our queen at just 25 years of age set the standard by which future monarchs will be judged. She protected and she preserved the institution of the monarchy in turbulent times while shaping it for the future. A life devoted to public service that has endeared her to people both here, across the wider Commonwealth and indeed the world. And we will continue our live programming to reflect on the Queen's remarkable 70 year reign as we enter a new era under the new King. I'm sad too.